Back in 2016, half of my flock was wiped out by a fox. A gopher was getting into my garden and I could not grow a thing. But I didn't trap them, I didn't remove them, and I didn't kill them. In fact, now we are thriving right alongside nature and we are coexisting beautifully. Here's how I did it. So here at the farm, we're surrounded by woods and a lot of wildlife. We have mountain lion that people have seen on their night cameras. We have bobcat, coyote, fox. We have fisher cats, raccoons and skunks, birds of prey like eagles, owls and herons, falcons, hawks, the list goes on and on and on. And we had a very high pressure or predator pressure when we first moved to the farm. Uh, things were getting into my garden and totally eating them up. I had half my flock wiped out by this fox. She would literally snatch one of my birds while looking at me being just several feet away. And I was like, okay, I have a responsibility to keep these animals safe. Super frustrating, I can't grow in a garden, but there's gotta be a way that I can naturally remove these predators. So I turned to trapping. I bought a have a heart trap, I set it out and I caught a kit. And I'm like, what am I gonna do with this kit? I'm not gonna kill it. So I returned the baby, but then it was also this light bulb moment for me where it's kind of like, okay, the reason the whole mother, the, the reason the mother is hunting my birds is because she's trying to feed her offspring. How can I coexist and grow food and raise my birds and keep them safe while respecting a boundary? And then that's when I decided to get livestock guardian dogs. All right, this is an overhead view of my farm from Google Earth. Let's highlight the portion that's mine. It's perfectly a triangle. Okay, we're gonna look at patterns of wildlife and this is gonna determine where we can place things on the farm. So I know that I have a fox den located right here on the boundary, one there and one there. And I also know through observation, their traffic patterns. And so they actually circumvent the farm. And we're gonna talk about how I got them to do that in just a second. We also have owl houses and they like to hang out down by our stream. So I have three locations where they reside. And then in the top pasture, we actually see some coyote activity, but they usually outskirt the farm as well. Then we've got some deer and I know where they congregate. And I also know where the eagle's nest is just off the property. We are farming and coexisting with nature because I put livestock guardian dogs in my pastures. These deter all the comings and goings of the natural wildlife. With dogs in their pastures on the outside, I put my growing spaces on the innermost portions of the property. Do I put my coop or my garden in wildlife areas? No, I do not. This is my lower pasture here. So this sees a lot of activity because it's adjacent to the forest that we have over here. And that fox bra I showed you earlier is right there. So there's always one dog down here today. Orsa's down here, the Great Pyrenees, her stock is inside because it's a rainy day. So the sheep are in. This is another pasture space that runs all through here. Our top pasture goes up and beyond this way. The ducks wanna come out, but it's raining and I don't want them roaming all over the place. Axu is inside that shelter right there. So um, there's actually another fox that I showed on the border map earlier, right in there. So they circumvent and run along the top there. One of the things that we did is put the pastures on the outskirts of the property. And by doing that, we put the livestock guardian dogs in there. That means that in order for wildlife to get at any innermost portion of the property where we keep the birds or the gardens, they have to get past the fences with the livestock guardian dogs first. And so even though they're contained in pastures, wildlife just aren't interested in messing with that. They're gonna go somewhere else. In fact, we have watched them circumvent the farm, come back with their catch or their kill in their mouth it's chickens. We find carcasses, feathers, and it's not animals from our farm. They're going elsewhere because it's just easier. So we've naturally deterred them. Um, now we invite wildlife. I hang owl boxes. The dogs, we rely on them heavily. They keep our animals safe. I had uh, mentioned on the map that our top pasture sees coyotes. The only time that really is, is in the off season or in the winter time when we're not fully rotationally grazing. So we kind of have a dedicated pasture space for the ducks and the geese with their dog and then the sheep with the dog um, that, that guards them. And we're not rotationally grazing in the winter time really because we don't want the hooves from the horses to trash the soil. And so if the ground's not frozen, they don't go in that top pasture. Long story short, that pasture's not seeing dog activity. So this is the time of year when we tend to see the coyote pressure. But again, I shouldn't say pressure because our dogs are doing an excellent job of um, keeping them away from the fence lines where the ducks sleep without a coop 24 seven. They're in an open pasture under the supervision of the dogs. They have an optional shelter they can go into and they don't. So we don't even use a coop. 
you know, people ask me all the time, well, how come your, um, your small fruiting trees aren't getting eaten by deer? Well, I don't put them out in wildlife traffic areas. What I do is put the more tender fruiting trees in spaces where the wildlife isn't going to go. Um, I do have food forest growing spaces out in more wooded areas, and that's where I do a lot of corn and pumpkin and squash, but that's all among the autumn olive and our walnut trees. Um, and so there's a lot of forage in there. There's a lot of naturally growing um, wine berries and blackberries and black cap raspberries back there. The deer have plenty out to forage on, so um, they're not really going after my crops that much. Um, you can see all this brush right up against the forest, and then you can see the beehive behind me. So before I actually got bees installed, we had the hive set up. It was enough of an attractant with the beeswax that I had already rubbed on the frames to attract bear. And they came through here and flipped over our hives <laughs> looking for honey. Uh, so since then, what I've done, again, the pasture is now across from me here um, with a dog inside and she can see what's going on over here. It's enough to deter the bear. And just as a safety precaution, we go ahead and wrap our hives with ratchet straps, but you can see that they're right up against the forest here and we haven't had any issues since. Okay, right behind me here, you can see the wildlife trails that go through the woods and um, so while that's great for riding the horses on and we take the four-wheeler back there to dump some compost, this is not a space I would put a coop. Um, it'd be a constant battle, a tug of war between keeping the birds safe and the wildlife. I create a designated space for the birds and that's where I put the dogs. The other thing is this is not an area where I'm going to put tender annuals. Again, just setting yourself up for frustration. I think it's so important to give them their space, no matter how large your property is, dedicate a space for them that they can go in allow them their forage, allow them their shelter. And when you do that and you communicate the boundary line with livestock guardian dogs, um, I think that's where the magic happens for coexisting. The thing is, is we want birds of prey to be here. We want small predators like raccoons, possums, weasels. Uh, we want all of those because those are gonna help us to keep our mice, rat, vole, mole populations in check. If we get rid of those, then we're gonna be overrun. And then people get so frustrated because they don't know what to do and they don't know how to get rid of all of these, all of these rats. You don't have a rat problem, you have a predator of a rat problem, you have a shortage. And so it really is just all about balance.